Okay, there's my dog. Hey, Bentley. Um. Go away. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to be making a what is on my iPhone video today. And I tried to make one of these the other day, but it didn't work out because it was basically 20 minutes of me just rambling on. So, I decided to remake it and not ramble on. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is my iPhone. It's just the iPhone 4 in white. And my case is from Claire's. It's just cheetah and it's like bejeweled. And, yeah. Okay, so the first page to my iPhone looks like this. And the four main apps down here in the bottom are just messages, calendar, music, and phone. So that, like, stays on there all the time. Um, the first page is basically just apps that come on it, and it's photos, YouTube, calendar, mail, weather, notes, Safari, maps, contacts, app store, iTunes, settings, and newsstand. And then the rest of my apps I put in, the, like, the little files that you can make. So the first one that I have is tools, and it looks like that. So in tools I have clock calculator, compass, voice memos, reminders, which is a really handy app because you can like make different lists of things that you need to be reminded of. And I have three different lists. I have to do, homework, and to film. So it just keeps me on track. And then I have videos, stocks, emoji, which is like the little emoticons you can send to other people with iPhones. I don't know if it works with any of their phones. I don't think it does, but it's really cool. T minus zero, which is like a countdown, and find my iPhone, which comes in really handy sometimes. I haven't had to use it though. And then the next folder I have is social, and I have Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and then like the Messenger for Facebook, a separate app, Voxer, and Instagram. And in the next folder I have health, and in there I have Fuji Kit, fast food, which is really handy because you like it has these different restaurants and you go and like you pick one and you like whatever you get there you click on it and it'll tell you like all the nutritional facts of it and I've lose it which is like a calorie counter and when you sign up for an account you put in like different information and it tells you like how many calories you can have a day and you just like you have a daily log and you like put in all your food and it has like a list and stuff and it counts all your calories together and you put in exercises and all that and I have pedometer, iFood, which is like recipes, and then, <laughs> this doesn't really pertain to health exactly, but I have Starbucks, because it's just awesome. And then I have the sleep snooze alarm. And then the second page of my phone is like this. Um, I don't really have that many apps, and they're all in folders, so it doesn't really take up much space. So the first folder I have is reference. And inside reference, I have Google, Google Translate, Dictionary, Flashlight, My Verizon, Weather, Shopkick, Hotlook, WTF Facts, 55K Quotes, and Hows. I really like this app. It's like, you can go through it and look at different, like, rooms, and, and they have, like, high-definition pictures, and there's just one. And, like, it's really cool and kind of inspirational. You can kind of get, like, different ideas. And then the second one that I have is Wallpapers. And basically, it's just where I get all of my wallpapers, like the one I had now. And I have Bling, Keep Calm, Backgrounds, and Wallpapers. And then the next little file that I have is Photography. And I have WeCam, CamWow Pro, and CamWow, which are basically just like different filters that you can have for your pictures. And then Pocket Booth, um, Frame Maker, which is um, where you can make you can make like different collages of pictures and it's what I had at the beginning of the outfit of the week for Myrtle Beach if you watch those on our other channel and then I have splice which is what I had for our vlogs backwards cam body symbols brace face and gift boom the next folder is music and I have Pandora radio now Shazam which is really cool because if you're like in the car and you you're listening to the radio and you really like a song but you don't know what it's called you can like turn on the Shazam app it'll tell you what song it is and it'll like give you a little um, link to iTunes to go buy it and then I have Crackle for like for movies and Mixer ringtones the next file that I have is funny and it looks like that I have anti jokes I funny rage faces which is actually really cool because you like go to it and you pick whatever like rage face you want 
and you like click on it and it'll copy it and then you can go to your messages and it'll paste into like the text box and you can send it to somebody and it's really funny actually. Um, and then I have Talking Tom, like the cat, Action Movie, FML, and I'd cap that. That is like the hilarious app I've ever had. It's really funny if you take like a stupid picture because it like generates a um, random caption but sometimes it can be really inappropriate. Okay, and then I have a file for word games, which are basically the only games that I play. And I have Words with Friends, Scramble with Friends, Hanging with Friends, and Draw Something. Okay, and the last file that I have is called Games. And I know I said I don't play games on my phone, but I keep games on there because my nephews sometimes play on my phone. And I have this one called Egg, and it's from, like, my youngest nephew, and it's, like, yeah. And I have Doodle Buddy, Plumber, Tiny Tower, and then... Of course, everybody went through a phase, and they had Temple Run. And then Tap the Frog 2, and then I just put Game Center in there because I had nothing else to do with it. That is all for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!